Free's Retreat featuring Renfree, an amazing soy dog from Thailand, and her trainer, William Sparks. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for William and Renfree. Woo! Yeah! All right. Come here. Sit. Well, good to see you again, Renfree. How have you been? Welcome back to your show. Uh, Renfree's from Thailand, and in Thailand we do the Sawadee. Sawadee, yeah, very good, thank you. And we have some people in our studio audience who are from Europe. How do they kiss? Say hello in Europe. Yeah, we have money kiss. Ah, there we are. Very good, very good. So Renfree, give me a high five if you like to go on vacation. Yeah, me too. And hotels are an important part of vacation. And you'll notice a lot of people get stressed out about trying to find a hotel. They get to run around on websites and it's hard to pick out that great hotel. But don't worry, Renfree's got the four R's to help you pick out the best hotel. So Renfree, you ready to help us out? So go ahead and take a card and see what the first R is. Which one's that one? Okay, let's start with that one. See what that one? Research is the first R. Okay, so we have to research the hotel. So what you want to do is take all of your criteria and put it into a box. So everything you, your family might want to do. You want a big city, you want to be by the beach, is it dog friendly? You put all of your criteria in the box, right? You put your criteria in the box, take a look at it, and then you put it away for a little bit, and then you look at it again. Ah, okay. Then once you think you have all of your criteria, you then want to make sure, see how it compares to the options that you have available. So, we're going to look over here. Good job. Now, right for you. Let's take our criteria and see which of these cities qualify. Nose it. Put your nose to the books. That's right. There we go. There's the first one. So maybe Nepal. That might be an option. So again, you've got to put your nose in the books. Right? You ready? Okay. Nose it. Nose it. And then you're itching to find out which one she's going to pick. All right. Nose it. Where is it? Which one is going to be your treat for vacation? Is it that one? Nope. What else? That one. Oh, so Nepal it is. So once you pick your location, do I have that book? Thanks. The second R is you've got to be careful about the region that you go to, and you have to take all of your criteria. Renfrey. I'm going to pick up the crumbs I left behind. Come here, Renfrey. So there's lots of criteria that you had in your box. And one of them that is often overlooked is safety, because there's often crime in those areas. Right, free. Come here. Come here. Good girl. So, so you have to watch out for what happens in these areas, because there are some petty crimes. <laughs> oh, we love that down there. Good job. Found it again. Take. Take. So watch out for the petty crime that might happen in those areas. Good job. Now the third R, what was the third R? Right, Marie, I forgot the third R. She had me write it down on the wall so I wouldn't forget. What was that third one? Let me take a look. Here you go. The third R is writing reviews or looking at the reviews that other people have written. That's really important because you want to know what kind of hotel it is because you might be staying at the Cat's Meow Hotel and think, that sounds great, until you check out the service at the front desk. Let's see what kind of service they have. Hello? Um, yeah, I absolutely hate my job. Like, Hello, what kind of service yeah. is that? Try again. It's just terrible. Oh, it's horrible service at that hotel. But let's look at the reviews of another hotel. Maybe there's the Connie Craze Dog Resort we might Ooh. want to check out. Let's see what kind of service is there. Whoa! Hello! How are you today? Here's your welcome treat. Wow, that's great service at that hotel. So that's another thing to check out. 
is look at the reviews. The fourth R is relaxation. Whatever hotel you pick, you're going to spend half your time there. So make sure you can relax, not stay, and get some peace and quiet there. And wherever you're just, you're going to sit and relax. And have that quiet time. And you might even choose a book to read. Because a book is always a great way to escape and relax. Renfrey loves to read. Come here. Those shoes aren't there. Come here. Come here. Run the book. Ah, very good. Run the book. There we go. And she will tell you the book she's reading right now is Around the World in 80 Days. Good job. Come here, Renfrey. I've, and also part of that last star is you have to realize that a lot of locations, you have to think about the jet lag that people are going to go through. So you might think of some calming tea or hypnosis to help you fall asleep. So I'm going to hypnotize you. You ready? Oh, and cover your eyes if you're taking a nap in the middle of the day where it's really bright out. So that's the four R's from Renfri on how to pick out a good hotel. Picking out a good hotel is like a dog finding a bone. Renfri, sit. And we're going to leave it at that today. And those are the four tips. This is Renfri's retreat. Thank you so much for coming to join us, where dogs give advice to humans.